This is my Rebel Urban 725S fixed gear bike. I love to ride it and I think it looks great, but I don't think the handlebar matches the shape of the frame. It's too curvy and soft, not aggressive enough. This one though. I guess the rigid trail is made for mountain bikes. It is 10 centimeters wider than my previous handlebar. So this will have a big impact on how the bike rides, not just how it looks. The old handlebar was 278 grams. This new one feels lighter in my hands. Nope, it's the exact same weight. Is that some kind of standard weight or is this just a crazy coincidence? The bulge in the middle is not actually centered. It's slightly offset, backwards and up or down, depending on how you look at it. This means there will be a height difference if you rotate it. Once the new handlebar was installed, I was thinking about trying out this other pair of grips, but I really didn't like the idea of adding a new color to the bike. For a while I told myself that it matches the tires, but I was just lying to myself. I kept the original grips, they are really good anyways. And this is how it turned out. I think it looks very good. It just looks like it belongs with the sloped geometry of the frame. Wider bars offer more direct control, but will feel more twitchy at higher speeds. Since this bike is my tractor cross or gravel kind of ride, I think it will be a good upgrade. I'm actually planning to ride this bike in a mountain bike race this summer. It's probably more of a cyclocross race really. 45 kilometers of mixed terrains and roads. I'm going with a friend just for having a good time, so it doesn't matter if we can't go super fast. I'm not that competitive anyways. As far as upgrades go, this really was a lot of bang for the buck. As I see it, there are two distinctive types of upgrades that you can apply to a bike. Personal ones and objective ones. And personal ones deal with how a bike fits your body and your ride style. Things like handlebars, saddles and stem size. And the more objective ones are just changes that will probably have the same effect for any rider. Like a fancy brand new set of wheels. Sure, all the upgrades come down to personal preference. And there is always some kind of trade-off in every choice, I think. But you know what I mean. If you want to upgrade your new bike, you should probably focus on the more personal upgrades, like this one. Thank you for watching.